Faux AoE drains 11.2 burn damage as endurance. Seventeen and a half. The smell of a pipe smoke at once, er mm -hmm. once early and sweet winds its way into your nostrils. Your eyes trace the smoke to its origin, where you find a, a broad man with the straw-colored hair leaning against a mossy rock wall. His pipe held, mm, held to his lips with one meaty hand. He looks you directly in the eye, but the look is not aggressive. He regards you with a peculiar smirk. Seventeen and a half. Well, it could be eighteen, depending on how you count the dwarf woman. I'm sorry? The dwarf woman. You were trying to figure out whether to count her as a full person. I, I think you oughta. What are you talking people about? People hanging from the tree. Eighteen of them. Well, last I counted, anyway. Hethoth <laughs> frowns. Is that what you people do for fun around here? Name's Adair. Though to the people around here, might as well be 19. Don't think I'd put you much higher than 22. 23 tops. You look like the sort that likes to get involved. Now what makes you think I was interested in the dwarf woman? He looks at you a moment, his, bow, his brow arched, his smirk broad. I was smoking over here, saw you staring at her. Twice I refilled my pipe. You never so much as blinked. Your mouth was so slack I took you for a radrick at first. You know what a watcher is. Careful, friend. Best not use that word round here. Could be any number of radrick bootlickers within earshot. Ciphers, animancers, watchers. Same thing in the eyes of folks around here, Radrick especially. They come to these parts all the time with their cures, preying on the desperate. None of them are who they claim to be. Of course, seeing you with that funny look, I'd be halfway inclined to believe you were having some kind of communion with that dwarf. <laughs> Either case, maybe I'm not 19 after all. N no offense. Think you're going to be hanged? The town's had it in for me for a long time now. Only fellow who ever stuck up for me, well, he's number 18 up there. My headman on the farm. Used to be my captain during the war. The war? Saints War. Only one in my lifetime. Fella decides he's the living incarnation of Aethys. Hmm, overthrows Redrix, marches, yeah. Uh, what's a uh, deer wooden hello? We blew him up. He smiles at this, but it is a smile the, of one recounting a joke for uh, effect rather than enjoyment. Alright, so who's Aethys? Got a rebirth and redemption, formerly. Anyhow. Maybe they call him something different uh, where you're from. Uh, why was your headman Hank? Got involved. Frederick sent men down here on the other day, said they had to, uh, had it on good authority someone in town was working with Ulsk. I'm plotting Redrick's overthrow. Mm, said if he didn't come forward right then and there, they'd hang every last one of us. And no one was coming forward, so within... Uh, so, oh, within, that's my headman. He, he steps up and says it's him. They took him at his sword. He sighs and shakes his head. His eyes fixed on the tree. Bound to happen sooner or later. Not for plotting against Raedric, but then for protecting me. What does your town have against you? Pick the wrong god. That's what it comes down to. Used to be a lot of Vathus worshippers in Gilded Vale. That mess of rocks over there? That was a temple to him, to give you some idea. Then one day, somebody named Widewind shows up on Deerwood's doorstep. Says he's the living flesh of Aethys. Got an army with him. Suddenly, Aethys isn't so popular in these parts. My brother Woden and me, neither of us believed it. No way was that Aethys. He enlisted, and then I did too. But, uh, he didn't make it back. After the war, people took to punishing Aethys worshippers. Accusing them of treason. Got real ugly, especially after the legacy started. 
Folks needed someone to blame. I was safe because I fought, but then this rumor starts that my brother, that he was on the wrong side. And I wasn't so safe anymore. Until my headman stepped in and said they'd have to hang him to get to me. Seems that's no longer a concern. Of course, the townies don't do the hanging these days, but when Raedric's men come, they got no problem doing the pointing. Marloth glances at you and lowers his voice. You can see why I was eager to leave. Who's Kulsk? Someone who got in and tired of all the hangings. He's on the run now. Probably will be till they catch him. If you're next to be hanged, what are you still doing here? Gives a half smile. Drinking, mostly. Point of fact, I'm on my way out. Just having figured where I'm going yet. Uh, not a whole lot of places out there that don't think Waden's legacy started with Waden. I mean, we could travel together. Where are you headed? Some place, some place called Cadnua. There's an old watcher there who might be able to help me. I seem to remember hearing something about that years ago. He tamed that place. People would seek him out for all kinds of things. Troubles of the soul, questions for the departed. Of course, that was back when you didn't have to say watcher with a hush on your breath. Well, we're kind of not doing that right now. A man such as that? There'd be things I'd want to ask him. Don't know why I never thought of it before. Merceception. Oh, I can't wait to start hearing them actually have actual conversations with each other. That'll be interesting. I, I just recalled. I think on uh, JP's drop frames, they did a... I think they did a small interview with Matt Mercer about something like that. Oh, it was something like that being one of the questions. Like, how was it talking to yourself in a game? Huh. I'll have to rewatch that. I'm not sure how I feel about setting out with a stranger. And a strange one at that. But truth be told, you might be the only one in town who wouldn't feel some relief seeing me swing from that tree. There's a fine reason if I ever ha heard one. All right, then. Guess I'll do some sightseeing. As long as you're not the one picking the sights. He tilts his head forward and gives you a pointed look. Let's get going. Wait, what level are you? Okay, Edder, you're a... You're a fighter. Aha! Okay, so. So now that I have some uh, companions with me, let's go try and kill that bear. <laughs> God. Oh, he doesn't have the resting bonus. Ah! That's okay. Unless there's a... Hold on. Is there like a... Ah. This is what I'm looking for. Whoop. Before I go and <clears throat> try and fight that bear, I need to go here. I need to come here and uh, do some selling, do some buying, do some more selling, and some inventory dumping. Yeah. Oop. 
<sighs> Hi? Uh. Mm, this uh, a mall man is of uh, is of an impressive build, towering up at the countertop. His skin is the dusk dusky blue of a deeper oceans, and his thick arms boast corded muscle. Small ears frame mm, small ears frame a square jaw, a face coated in a smear soot, and uh, sometimes I can read perfectly fine. Other times. I can't read worth a crap. Makes me want a beer. You know what? Screw it. I'll have at least one beer for tonight. Hold on. Come here, beer. I'm thirsty. A drink for every spoken word of dialogue, every death, every reload, and we'll go from there. Good luck, and cheers. <laughs> okay. As you can see, I've already failed. <laughs> He offers you a broad smile as you approach. <laughs> Are we blacking out tonight? Then? <laughs> Probably. Uh, welcome. You're the first new face I've seen in quite some time. What can I do for you? I was kind of joking about the every spoken word of dialogue. Maybe the death and every reload will do. But spoken word of dialogue? Oh God, that yeah, I'm gonna. I I don't think I could. I don't. I'm not gonna last. Uh, what do you have here? Uh, is this your shop? Uh, that it is. Been here near to tw near on twenty years now. Seen all manner of things over the years. Good luck and bad. What? Uh, what? To Anna glances at the guard standing watching along the wall. But the black hammer smith remains. What do you have here? You come to us at a strange time. I'm afraid the stock's not what it used to be. But we've had. Mm, but we've fine weapons and armor to offer you. Mm, offer yet? All forged right here at the black hammer. What happened? We just don't have the supplies. Been expecting the next delivery for near on a, a week now. I haven't seen a sign of it. Have to expect they were hit by bandits. The road out east is crawling with them. Or my workers ran off with a wagon themselves. Maybe to make some coin. Uh, Tuatanu uh, snorts. As if the lot... Mm, as if the lot would dare. You're right about the bandits. The dire situation in the village is like this, and the exodus to the cities has created far too many opportunities for unscrupulous sorts. Mm -mm, Tuatanu uh, scratches his jaw, thinking. If you happen to head that way, maybe you could keep an eye out for a supply wagon, or my shipment, at least. They'd be cutting through Black Meadow, I expect. Only good, mm, only good road for it. Uh, as it is, most of our we uh, weapons go to his grace, Lord Redrick. Uh, Tuatanu glances at the nearby guard, and that is the s and that's as it should be. But it doesn't leave much for outsiders. We just don't have the iron. I'll find you supplies. Nice. Nah, then you have my thanks. You bring those supplies back, and I'll have plenty more to offer you. A discount to start. Oh, and if you can find my workers, tell them to hurry up, or they can take up farming instead. Well, first off, let's Hail see what you have. Like... for now and then they're 
before I actually continue on, I better see what uh everybody's equipment are. Okay, you can have medium armor. Alos Leather Armor. Unique Medium Armor. Uh, plus 10% ability... Oh, uh, I guess we don't want to skip that then. Oh! Okay. Um, what do you have here? A Saber. Oh god, you do a lot of damage. Damn, I didn't see what you can do! I'll just see what you can do. Uh, just doesn't that doesn't really do anything. Uh, what are you? Oh. Be right back and I get some Oreos. Not a problem. Uh, that's like lights or realms. Anyone in the area? Like, okay, I like that. I like all these. I also want this. I really only do is like up to four spells? Really? Interesting. Wizards have the ability to learn earn a staggering number of spells, but they are always limited by the capacity of their grimoires. At any given time, a grimoire may only contain four spells of each level. Uh, uh click on a spell in the right panel to remove it from the grimoire. Add spells to empty slots by clicking on the spell in the left panel. Ah. Interesting. Now you good, sir. Oh, you got some good armor. Where's my good armor? I want some good armor. Uh, I mean, this is all right. Eh. I suppose that means I can sell everything well, now. Well, my friend. Uh, better hold on to those. Uh, better hold on to those. Now you good, sir. Oh. Damage reduction only eight? Really? That was it? Piercing 10, burn 7, freeze 7. Huh. Alright, oh, oh. Uh, hi. Back of the weapons. Oh, wow. That's really better. Oh, no. Oh, no. That is better. 
It's better by a little bit. Mm. Lena's Lance. And then there's a great sword. Um, I might just, I might just grab that. Anyways, I'm back with a bowl of Oreos. Ooh, sounds great. Now I want to grab something to eat. Darn it. Your Oreos just made me hungry. Oh, well. Oh, well. Where's that morning star at? Oh, God, what was that morning star? Oh, it's right here. Stronger. This has three damage reduction bypass. So ah, I think we'll I think we'll be okay as is for now. That's fine. And given to the call of the cookie, I don't have cookies. But I do have raisins. And I got a lot of other desserts in the fridge, so I'm not going hungry for desserts, but I don't actually want something like hearty. Juicy. All right, let's go have ourselves a um, a brawl with a bear. This ought to turn out good. Oh, this brawl with this oh this brawl with a bear is going to be real interesting. Not gonna lie on that one. Be real interesting. Oop. Eight hours travel? That's fine. Should be fine. Wait, where are we? Oh, we're in Valewood. That's right. I'm not scared of you, bear. Now that I have friends and a bear, I'm taking you down. Remember, drink for every death and reload. Oh, this ought to be interesting. And now to see how fighting with a uh, a wizard feels. Oh, oh, oh! Can I? No, I can't. I can't. You can't use a pet. All right, time for a quick save. Keeping quiet. Oh. Oh. Get him. You. Oh. Get it. Everyone get him. How you, run away for a minute. 
Now get him. Oh god. Uh, that's more uh, conservative combat strategy. Con uh, concentrating on locking down enemies that stray too close. Okay, this is her number of engagement targets to three, but at the expense of deflection. Oh, ugh, no thank you. Uh, heal up real quick. Now attempt to knock down the bear. That's it. Change up my stance here a bit. Who has the better deflection? You have 51 deflection, you have 54. Oh, that would be me with the most deflection. Oh god, I am tanky. Oh god, I am a tank. Um, should be me in front? Yeah, I am a tank, apparently? With not as much health as, uh, Edder. Ah, fair. I'll take that. Vigor drifts suspended in the mist on musty air of the, mm, of the cavern. Its form and features blur and twist in cascading ripples of incandescence. You feel its energy ed mm, eddying about your limbs, filling them with a heavy chill. Well, reach out. You reach out a hand of the spirit. In the moment of contact, you feel as if you have been struck a blow, head reeling as you tumble helplessly into a waiting darkness. A slight... Uh, 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 slight blooms of, of the mm, at light bloom a uh, light blooms at the edges of your vision you feel the sun at your back and the weight of a bow in your hand a bow in your hand you know suddenly that you have come a long way from the veil hunting deer now you are standing before a cavern and the darkness extends far into its steps even so your friend strides out before you his red cloak flapping at his heels you you follow heart hammering in your chest as he leads you deeper into the cavern. Uh, there is a roar like thunder echoing around you. Fear seizes you, casts you stumbling back, back towards the exit, towards the light and escape. You see a glint of steel, and there is a sudden terrible flash of agony behind your ear. You scream, uh, you scream, tumble, fall. Did his friend just, okay. You scream, stumble, fall. Your thoughts are chaos, lanced through, the, run through with pain. But in a moment of terrible clarity, you see your friend looking back from the mouth of the cavern, his dagger dot and dabbed in crimson to match his cloak. And then there is a great dark shape above you. Then there is no more pain. The vision, the vision recedes and you are thrown back into yourself with seemingly resentful force. The corpse lies at your feet and the specter lingers in the span of energy between you both. And we feel a sense of questioning, of confusion, of anger. I met him on the road, your friend. And a sudden lashing, uh, lashing anger emanates from the spirit. Rage and grief seem, seem, to be, and seem to pour from the gleaming figure like smoke. I'll find him and see that he answers for what he has done to you. And for a moment, the spirit seems to burn bright and your head fills with a sickly triumph. The spirit seems to weaken with uh, with the force of its own exult exultation, uh, growing fainter and fainter until you are alone once more.
Oh, that boy's gonna have some pro I, that. Oh, I didn't get to drink anything. I thought I was gonna die a few times. Hit an item. Keeping Oop. quiet. That's right, keeping quiet. So I got one Sam Regal and two Matt Mercers in the party. Oh, this is a great day. You might find this interesting. Yay! Thank you! If I take it, he can learn? A scroll of Tanglefoot. Can you learn this spell? Got an item, so. That man's going to answer for what he's done. No, I ain't gonna be honest. I thought I was gonna die a couple times before I beat that fight. But hey, <gasps> victory, a celebrational drink. Oh, he's gone. Oh, where'd he go? All right, so... The old watcher. Late for dinner. Finish that? What? I'm confused. Won't spoil the side quest? Yeah, please don't. Uh, tips and helps for it <clears throat> is not a problem, but so, uh, no spoils. Yes. I'm absolutely okay with backseat gaming. I'm perfectly fine with it, as long as it doesn't spoil the story. Gods keep you. If it's grayed out in the, in the quest menu, it means it's finished? Okay, so... Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I, I, I see, I see. Thank you! 